live in two minutes. Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, guys, and we got another live stream for you bright and early this morning. I'm going to try to get back to the early morning streams, guys, getting up, rising and shining with the price of Bitcoin for a market open because today we are getting another crypto explosion, guys. Bitcoin's looking good today, back above $71,000. The question of the day is can we get a massive short squeeze to continue up to the $75,000 price level where Bitcoin Magazine just yesterday talked about how there's a massive short squeeze coming. We're going to look at the liquidation heat map today, see what's ahead. We're going to talk about this new AI trend that's been popping off this year. We're going to talk about a big story where there has been a merge between some of the biggest AI projects, some that you've heard of, Fetch AI being one of them. We're going to discuss that. Look at some of the top gainers, go through some of the market. Uh, we do have a market open, so we've got some volatility this morning that I want to track for you guys. Of course, we'll take a peek at some of the meme coin mania that's been going on and continued hypotheses there. Um, we're doing five videos every single day for you guys. And today, bright and early, if you like the content, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Live streams every Monday through Friday for you guys. Two shorts and then three long form videos, including the live stream, guys. If that is uh, your cup of tea, then turn on your notification bell. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. It's free to do. It's just basically telling YouTube, hey, I want more of these guys' content. And if that's what you want, smash that subscribe button, guys. Okay. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. HC. Good to see you. Greedy Panda. Reggie Nuts. Good to see you guys. BSS. We got 20 viewers and we have eight likes. Do me a favor and smash that like button while we dive right in no pause no hesitation now i did put out a poll for you guys and i want to know what you think because again who cares what this crazy guy on youtube thinks that calls himself crypto kip why don't we focus on what you guys think and give me your results in that poll i said can bitcoin break new highs today we need to get above 73,844 or something like that basically we got to get above 74,000. Can we see it? Bitcoin was on the right track this morning. We are slowing down right now, but can it continue? Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, Armin Clark says, toot toot, that like button, boys. I couldn't agree more. Like that train conductor said, just do it, says Reggie, <laughs> Reggie Nuts. All right, guys. So today, we still got some greed, guys. It's been interesting. You know, when we were in the bear market, I want you guys to remember, if you guys are new, well, that's okay. You're going to catch up, all right? If you're new, you'll catch up. But if you've been around, what you saw was for so long, very long time, we were in the red. 
been in the orange, and then we creeped into the yellow, and we've been in the green for a very long time on this fear and greed index. What you need to know about this, this thing, guys, is this is a lagging indicator. And so if you're not aware of that, you need to be aware of that, okay? So once Bitcoin blasts off, I mean, let's say Bitcoin goes up to 80K today. This is still gonna say like 82, probably through the night, and then by tomorrow morning, it would probably catch up. So it's just got some delay. It takes into account social media metrics. It takes into account price volatility, price action, the upside to the downside. These are all things you guys need to be aware of. Um, so just be aware of that. And Bitcoin dominance is still strong, just like so consistent. Now, so many people say that Bitcoin dominant needs to continue to go up, but I look at all these meme coin degenerates out there and smash a like button if you're one of them, guys. Uh, and the altcoins say something a little different. I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to say that Bitcoin keeps going up. Honestly, as, as Bitcoin keeps going up, there is an argument to be made that money will continue to flow into these altcoins, maybe even into these silly little meme coins that so many people have angst towards, and I get it. Um, and then these AI plays and even the real world asset plays and different ecosystems like Solana, like Kronos, like gaming, like AI. So it's going to be interesting to watch. You know, a lot of people want to be right all the time. Uh, I'd love to be right too. But the truth is, is, you know, we're usually going to get a lot wrong, guys. I mean, and, and that's just how it is. Like if everybody could get everything right all the time, we'd all be millionaires and that'd be great. But, uh, you know, it's just not that easy. So we're still trying to do it. We are finding great plays. We found 50 X's. I found 100 X already in this bull cycle so far. Uh, we found several two to 10 X's like in the last two months, we've made insane money together. If you guys have been following along, but I also want to remind you guys, you know, none of this is financial advice. And so I'll just say it out of the gates and try not to say that 10,000 times throughout the stream. Okay. But you should know that by now. Anyway, let's look in to see what else is going on. Uh, Bitcoin dominance is strong. That is good to see when Bitcoin calms down. We usually get some altcoin rally. So Mantle is ripping today. Sui is ripping today. A lot of people were very excited about Sui a while ago. It cooled off for a bit. If you bought that dip, congratulations. In the last seven days, you're up 30%. When you see some of these plays going down, guys, some of the big ones like Beam that everybody was so excited about like three, four months ago, you get opportunities when these things cool off and the hype wears down to buy these dips. Now, I'm not endorsing any of these tokens. I, in fact, I don't own any of the tokens that you see on your screen right now. But that doesn't mean that they're not fantastic. You know, we each get to pick our own strategies in this. I want to be as unbiased as possible. And I support anybody's bags that has a good investment, good strategy. And you have the right to do your own research. In fact, if you want to be in crypto, you're obligated to do your own research. And so, so many great plays out there. Now, the ones that are popping off today, there's a reason for it. AGIX, Fetch, some of the others, guys. There's a reason for these to be ripping up today. And we're going to explore some of that. The AI plays just had a big merger that I want to discuss. So that's pretty incredible. Uh, Greedy Panda says, what would a double top around 74K be bearish? Look, Greedy Panda, uh, first of all, I love your name and it's a great question. Um, the answer to your question is, it just depends on the whales and it depends on the broader market. You know, TA will only get you so far. TA is certainly something that you need to be aware of. Like right now, Bitcoin's breaking into a bull flag, you know, breaking out and the bull flag is confirmed. You know, a lot of people are talking about that today. Sure. Um, but that doesn't mean that all of a sudden something can't happen and squash it. Like a lot of people were scared yesterday of like KuCoin, for example. I wasn't very scared of KuCoin. Now, if you're on KuCoin, maybe it's a good idea to just protect yourself a little bit and start shuffling some funds off. Not in a panic per se, but maybe you go to more trusted exchanges like Crypto.com, maybe even just Coinbase, maybe some of these other plays, especially if you're in the USA. Maybe OKX, you know, that one's pretty well established at this point. Binance is still holding strong, even though I've never really been the biggest fan of Binance. And seriously, with this late, late lead news, you know, I'm leaning more and more towards crypto.com and Coinbase. Uh, in fact, recently I got one of my coworkers into crypto and yeah, close to a top potentially, but he's been watching it for a year. He's been wanting to get in and finally he decided he wanted to get in. So I just helped him along the way and I led him to Coinbase, to be honest with you guys. I could have led him to crypto.com. But Coinbase is just a little more safe for, you know, he's a little bit older than me, just a little more secure. I think you know where I'm getting at with that. Anyway, uh, you can get a lot of these coins, obviously, on Coinbase. But you know, as well as I do, Crypto.com has a lot more coins that they list. 
uh, you also know that if you really want to get some of these other crazy coins, then you got to be in DeFi. And smash the like button if you're a DeFi fan. I'm a huge DeFi fan uh, and advocate as well. Uh, shout out to Shy, Sho Shy Sox fan for life. Good to see you. We got David Porciello in the chat. Good to see you. Good morning to the Crypto Conjurer. Are you going to conjure some gains for us this morning, my brother? It is good to see you all in the chat. What an incredible day for Mantle, folks. <coughs> this is, the, <coughs> excuse me, the number 28 ranked token a 50% a day. You got to think about that, guys. That means that there was over a billion dollars injected into this today. And that can happen to any of your coins at any time for any variety of reasons. That doesn't mean that it can happen to every coin, but I'm going to say it again. I say it almost every day because I think it's frankly hilarious. And honestly, I still want to do it. I got a cousin with a dartboard. I should get a dartboard myself. But in crypto, you could take the top 100 tokens. You could throw them on a dartboard. You could put a blindfold on, take five darts, throw them at that dartboard and invest in the five tokens that those darts hit. And you could probably make money in crypto, but that's not what we like to do here. We like to actually come up with a hypothesis and a reason. And there's so many reasons to be buying tokens like this. But I would urge you guys, when you see double-digit green candles, that's typically not the time that you want to buy. In fact, almost never do you want to buy when things are going up. Instead, what you'd want to look at, guys, is you would want to look at what's down today. I know this is probably an unpopular opinion, but KuCoin is still going to be an exchange, I think, just like Binance. Probably a time to buy the dip if you were into KuCoin. I'm personally not. I'm not going to be buying the dip on KuCoin. But... The point is, is when you see big losses, that's typically when you'd want to scoop things up. And I'm not telling you guys to buy KuCoin because that is way too risky for me right now, given the news. Just given the news. It's a little scary. I think they're going to be fine, but given the news, I'm staying away. I uh, never got the KuCoin shares in the first place because I'm more bullish on Crypto.com. And you guys know that I have some bias. Uh, I just have a big bag of crow. And I'm big into the Crypto.com meme coin ecosystem, as I'm sure you've been seeing lately. So that's been a lot of fun as well. Other big losers today, uh, BitTenzer, not really too familiar about that. I've seen this one a lot. Um, not really, we're not really a lot of big losers in the last seven days. How about in the last 24 hours? All right, a couple more losers. Ja uh, Jasmine's down a little bit. I know there's a lot of Jasmine nuts out there. Shout out to the Jasmine fam. I know you guys want to make some big gains with that. Hopefully that thing can make new all-time highs for you guys. Uh, Caspa. Caspa was a very, very, very popular play in the last bull market this thing's down a little bit today again maybe a neat, neat opportunity to buy the dip on some of these things jupiter jupiter is one where if you're bullish on solana and you feel like you missed solana i was just talking to black sea about this yesterday you know solana from the bottom good morning chris gomez by the way shout out to you um uh jupiter is probably a good play if you feel like you missed the Solana pump, well, Jupiter's probably got a lot of upside ahead of it. Now, remember, guys, there are still more Jupiter airdrops coming. And if you're not aware of that, if you basically use the Jupiter protocol and use a variety of the features within it, you still get access to potential airdrops from Jupiter that are coming later this year, possibly even in 2025, certainly later this year. Um, so just be aware of that that is the number one DEX with the number one trading volume. Honestly, I think in all of DeFi, Jupiter has been so hot because of the meme coin mania. Uh, as of late and I think that it's uh, meme coins are risky they're gambling but they certainly bring excitement to ecosystems that has been proven at this point Pepe is down a little bit let's see how Pepe is doing real quick guys and I'm gonna I'm gonna do some news for you but let's get some more folks get into the stream we got 39 viewers so far 18 likes do me a favor smash that like button Pepe looks like it's cooling off a little bit but uh, I don't know I don't know do you guys think this thing gets more upside it's, it's hard to say it's hard to say Pepe certainly Certainly making waves. I don't even think it got that Coinbase listing yet. I, they called it controversial. I don't know if it's going to. Maybe it will. If it does, it could be huge, guys. Um. Anyway, I'm personally not going to be buying Pepe, I don't think. Uh, unless I do like a little swing trade or something. But I probably won't do it. Bitcoin's coming down a little bit. So let's get into some of the news. So Bitcoin yesterday maintained $70,000 as KuCoin was charged with anti-money laundering violations. Now, in the last bear market recently, FTX collapsed, caused a lot of fear. Crypto crashed, right? But it was already crashing. We were in a bear market. That was part of the cycle that we were just in. So naturally, it made sense. Plus, the FTX issue was a lot bigger than just, you know, money laundering accusations <clears throat> or charges. It was also fraud. They didn't have a one-to-one -one ratio. They basically, you gave them your money and they reinvested it. And then they didn't hold your money. And then if you wanted to cash it out, they didn't have it there. That's basically what happened with FTX. But at a massive scale, they say it's Bernie Madoff level stuff. And it certainly, certainly was. Uh, so this is not nearly as bad 
some people were asking me yesterday and you know i thought about it overnight is this terrible for crypto is this going to crash the crypto market the answer is no bitcoin's pumping today uh is this bad for kucoin well maybe maybe so just be careful with kucoin guys uh you just got to be careful with kucoin okay uh shy socks fan is thinking about crow with knife i know a lot of people are um how am I thinking about feeling about Arrow? I gotta look more into Arrow. We can we can talk about that a little bit more later, Matthew. Thanks for the question. Uh, if you guys do have any questions, by the way, do me a favor and throw them in the chat. I always do a Q&A towards the end of these things. I'll try to answer your questions as we go along uh, because I love you. That's why. So let's look at some of the liquidations that are occurring today. Uh, and if you take a peek at what's going on, mostly short squeezes. Okay, mostly the shorts are getting wrecked today trades off each day you know all of a sudden the shorts get wrecked and then people open up some longs and then the next day the longs get wrecked until we have some kind of massive massive short squeeze or long squeeze here was a long squeeze which was crazy by the way a billion dollar long squeeze that occurred and then 290 one million dollars actually so 879 million dollars worth of longs were liquidated on march 4th 291 were liquid a uh, million were liquidated in shorts on march 4th but look at the price action on bitcoin it really didn't go anywhere so we we could be coming up on another moment where all of a sudden we get some liquidations in fact i wanted to zoom out a little bit for you and bitcoin magazine put out an article recently talking about how there are a bunch of shorts that want to be liquidated at set they probably don't want to be liquidated but they're begging to be liquidated uh with the six billion dollars worth of shorts that are stacked up around the seventy five thousand dollar price level that's a lot of money guys there are some big uh longs that probably want to be squeezed over here and down here so you know we still got to be conscious of the sixty thousand dollar level certainly right around the seventy thousand dollar level these are big mental targets and then 75k you know i was talking with my father my father and my mother both have some crypto but my father used to love trading he even used to try to uh you know do it for a living back in the day uh but you know he gets it to a point and he's looking at his let's get bitcoin to 76k because if we can get bitcoin to 76k i think we're going to be at 100k in no time that's why the title of this video is inspired by my dad by my daddy and uh he's talking about you know hey we can get past 75k huge mental barrier i think we just ripped to 100k do you agree with that i want to know what you guys think in the comments down below uh because i do i do see something to that and especially with all these shorts that are just begging to be liquidated uh if we get past there we could see something epic happen there's also other bullish catalysts uh for bitcoin which i'm going to get back to in a second but let's talk about this so singularity net fetch ai and ocean protocol some of the biggest ai plays in the space agix fet and ocean saw double digit gains today why because they are all planning on basically merging their tokens so three artificial intelligence companies singularity net fetch excuse me fetch ai an ocean protocol whoa indigestion uh an ocean protocol are constructive discussions to merge their crypto tokens the move is aimed at developing a centralized ai platform centralization no you know Witnessing a merger AGIX FET and Ocean tokens uh, into ASI token with a fully diluted value of about 7.5 billion as per people familiar with the matter. This is very, very interesting. These tokens have all been pretty hot this year. Um, so this is big news. Uh, so if you're wondering why AI tokens are pumping today, uh, you can, you know, boom, thank CoinGate for the information today, which is, you know, an okay, a fine publication. Um, but this is big news so if you're bullish on ai smash the like button if you're making money on these tokens you let me know down below, below. uh but i did want to talk to you guys about this so in addition to this kucoin dad knows best says hc couldn't agree more tony con tony contronio tony contronio i love that name tony contronio tony contronio that's a good name uh <laughs> i'm getting so distracted i had a lot of coffee this morning i'm sure you can tell Watcher Guru is reporting that the CFTC says that Ethereum and Litecoin are commodities in the KuCoin lawsuit. And guys, it's pretty nice. That's But that is the CFTC. And so it's not breaking news per se, but it is good to see that the CFTC is still calling Ethereum a commodity and Litecoin, which you know at this point probably that I'm personally not a fan of, but if you're holding it to the moon, you know, I hope you make money. Um... 
but this isn't something new. It is good news, but it's not something new per se, right? Uh, we've seen this language from the CFTC before. What we're worried about is the SEC who is saying that, no, no, Ethereum is in fact a security. They're kind of battling out over who is going to kind of be overseeing um, regulation, authority over Ethereum. Authority over Ethereum is a word, weird word because you can't have Ethereum authority over a decentralized play like Ethereum. <laughs> Tony Cotronio. Cotronio. Tony Cotronio. Italian. Me too. Italian. Irish. I got a wife. She's like 100% Italian. Uh, and she's beautiful. Shout out to my Italian beauty. If you're out there. Love you, sweetie. Uh, anyway. <laughs> This is cool. This is great to see. So in something bad, like the KuCoin lawsuit, we get some more good news. So this is really nice to see. Other news that I wanted to share with you guys was good news for crypto. The London Stock Exchange is planning on launching a Bitcoin and Ethereum exchange traded notes. This is great to see. We just want to see more market participants in this space as we can get more institutions in banks getting in you know i was at a company dinner the other night and my boss explained to the entire table after they asked me a little bit about crypto that he's seeing that the banks are getting in and he really didn't know a lot about crypto and it's just showing you guys that all of a sudden some of the older gener and he's not an old guy he's, he's a younger you know he's a dad he's a little older than me but uh you know some of the older generation is getting into this space and this has been a green light stories like this of blackrock buying into bitcoin of london stock exchange talking about offering some of this stuff these are the bullish things guys that are continue to drive this market forward that are going to get us to new highs eventually and then yes to a hundred thousand dollars or if we can get a breakout above 75k you know just up from here that's really what we want to see so these are some good stories that we're seeing today um also if you've been holding bitcoin and you bought bitcoin through the bear market or even if you bought it in the previous bull market even if you bought it at the top guys you are in the profit and if you're not in the profit then you really bought the tippy top recently over 95 percent of bitcoin supply is now in the profit well that is scary to some people and here would be why even though this is a very good story that can be scary and the reason being is because you would say well not everybody can be a winner and you would be right typically we have parabolic rallies and then blow off tops where some people just straight up don't take profit so one thing a theme that i'm going to be talking to you guys about through all of our videos every single day is you must be taking profits whether you are buying bitcoin ethereum solana cardano polkadot Kronos, the Kronos meme tokens, right? All this stuff, guys, you must be taking profit on the way up. I'm not saying panic sell, panic sell. And certainly, you want to sell when green and buy when red. Buy dips and you sell the greed. You, you buy the fear and you sell the greed. That is the best way to be a crypto winner. Now, not financial advice, but that's the way we're trying to do it here, personally. Uh, other massive bullish catalysts for crypto, uh, go ahead and smash that like button for me. I know uh, WCB will talk a little bit about crease as well. Um, Shy Sox says duck season, wabbit season. What? <laughs> um, Coindesk says uh, expected Fed rate cuts support the bull case in Bitcoin. But there's a catch. Renewed rate cuts by the Fed have historically presaged, presaged. That's a weird word. Never heard that word. Recessions. And uh, triggered rotation of money out of risk assets. This is very, very interesting. The Fed minutes released Wednesday show policymakers could cut rates this year. Past data show an economic recession tends to follow as the Fed begins uh, rate cuts. Um, but what's interesting, too, is that I've been seeing that the Fed's money printer is back to COVID levels, right? They are printing as much money as they were printing during COVID levels, which is absolutely insane. And that kind of tells you guys that we could have an insane amount of upside left because some people believe that in order for Bitcoin to continue pumping, we need the money printer on. We need all that extra money to be printed to get injected into the crypto market to kind of pump our bags. You can think of it however you want, but I do believe that, you know, this is a bullish scenario for crypto. And if you look at what comes next, obviously we had the Fed's comments. He says that he plans and the Fed uh, Board of Governors plan on doing some rate cuts soon. Uh, if you look at the upcoming meeting in about 30 days or so, 
uh, coming up on, when is this? So, May 24th, okay? So, yeah, a little while. We got actually like 30 or 40 days, I guess. Uh, if you look at this, we have only a 9% chance of rate cuts in the next one, so we don't want to get our hopes up too soon. 64% uh, chance in June of rate cuts compared to 30% of keeping the rates the same. Uh, and then we also have July uh, looking even better for rate cuts, September. And as you go later into the year, you'll see more odds of rate cuts because of the Fed's language. And so if we continue to get this, that will be bullish for markets. Says the greedy panda rate cuts are coming. Duck season, commodity, wabbit season, security. I love it. All right. Um, let's look at the charts and see what's going on. So Bitcoin is just getting a ridiculous, ridiculous short squeeze. And then all of a sudden, a ridiculous long squeeze. Look at that, guys. That's almost right on top. That is like market open. That is market open. So this is the games that we're playing around these levels. You know, everybody's looking for this breakout. I'd love to get this breakout. But the truth is, is until like this greed just gets crushed, uh, on both ends, the shorts and the longs, and until the bulls and the bears get exhausted, uh, and then all of a sudden somebody gets wrecked on one side or the other, and we get a massive short squeeze or a massive long squeeze, we are going to keep having some of this chop. You know, we we have been talking about this pretty consistently because it's super real. You look at historically how long it's taken for Bitcoin to break out, and we're just right in the window of time. It's been like 27 or, or 30 days so far. Uh, we've been playing around these levels. It took 55 days in two bull markets ago, 18 days in a last bull market. And so far, we're at like 25 to 30 days. Um, it could be a little more time before we absolutely get a total rip out or all of a sudden there could just be a massive liquidation and, and we could keep absolutely ripping. So we'll see. Let's check in on Solana today, see what's going on there. Solana also having some hesitation, trying to get back above that $200 level. In fact, it just did a couple days ago. Uh, yesterday, we even got up to 198. Didn't quite get there. There's a lot of resistance at the $200 level for Solana. So if you're holding that, uh, still bullish on it. Still bullish on it. It hasn't quite broken its price all-time highs. However, its market cap has broken its previous all-time high. And a lot of you guys might be wondering, well, how can that happen? How could Solana have hit its previous all-time high in market cap without hitting the price market cap? And that is simply because it is an inflationary token instead of a deflationary token. Uh, tokenomics, guys, tokenomics, something to learn about, something to understand a little bit better. Very complicated to explain, but I hope that's helpful. Uh, Stax is having a little retracement after breaking previous all-time highs. Very, very common, guys, to see this, just like Bitcoin. You see, you turn resistance into support. So we broke through, now we're testing the previous high. If we can stay above it, we can get more upward bullish continuation. Uh, but the name of the game, as always, with everything, every single time, is it depends on what Bitcoin wants to do, folks. It depends on what Bitcoin wants to do. And everybody's watching it. Even my father, who is not really on the pulse of the crypto markets. At 7.30 this morning, he texted me and he's like, we're going up. You know, he's excited. We're going up. And I get it. It's very exciting. Everybody's watching on it. And until it kind of gets a little bit boring to the side, I think... People are a little too excited right now. It's going to catch you off guard, I think, is typically how it happens with Bitcoin. Just like this whole crazy rally we had leading up to today, think about the rally we had from October. It all started, do not forget this, this whole rally started with the fake news story of the BlackRock ETF getting launched, and it wasn't, and then all of a sudden it, it was. So people knew it was coming. People were buying in anticipation for this event some people believe that that's why we're due for a massive sell-off and we certainly could be but what's my strategy my personal strategy guys is to just dca just total i'm playing around with some of the memes yes but i'm trying to increase my bags in the true positions like crow like stacks like bitcoin like ethereum like solana even into some of these other ones avalanche cardano this would be great to have guys there's a lot of great plays coming into this bull market but by far and large my most bullish chains right now are Stax, Solana, Avalanche, and Kronos. Those are my favorite chains right now, and I'm super excited to see the activity going on in the Kronos chain today because a lot of people have hated on the Kronos chain for seemingly no reason. They call it some like a, a centralized chain, which there's 
always a component to that with some of these chains. Um, Solana arguably has some of that going on as well. They got like VC backing it. And people pretend like that's, you know, not a centralized thing. It certainly is. If you look at the allocation of the biggest wallets, like that's something you want to consider. And so a lot of these chains like Avalanche, like Kronos, like Solana, all have some of that in common, arguably more some than the others. But uh, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because you do want regulatory compliance when it comes to your pumpability in a sense. Um, in my opinion, in my, that's my opinion. If you disagree, you can let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to discuss it. If you guys have any questions, by the way, let me know. Uh, as for Crow, uh, don't be surprised if we touch down to the 12 cent level again. Uh, that's very possible. And we could get some more volatility with some of these meme tokens that we have been talking about on the channel. Speaking of which, you know, a lot of people are asking me for updates on Crow with Knife. Uh, I'm still bullish on it. I'm still holding it. In fact, that's the most bullish meme in my opinion on Kronos specifically, but it's totally gambling and that's how meme coins are. So just be careful guys, do your own research, figure that out. Um, you know, people are asking me for updates on crease, still hold my crease. Uh, crease is a little more risque in terms of like, uh, some of the memes they put out or like Chris Marsliak doing some strange things. So, you know, uh, more risky than cough for sure. Uh, but still holding definitely has momentum behind it incredible trading volume on all these things that's that's one of the most exciting things about what's going on is just seeing more trading volume and activity within vvs finance on the chronos chain in that sense it's very good for the chain but in the sense where people are selling the crow for it i can understand where people are upset about that and don't like that um we're going to talk a little bit later today also about the breaking news from crypto.com where you can now stake your CRO tokens for 20% APY for the next year. That's crazy. We're going to talk about that later today, whether I like that or not. I do have some strong opinions on that. I'm not going to share with it on this video because I don't want to ruin my content for later today. So we will talk about it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Come back later on. I'm not done yet. We're going to hang out for a little bit. I'll chat. I'll chat a -roo until about, uh, we'll hang out till like 930 or something, guys. So smash the like button. We got 37 viewers, 21 likes took a chance with a bitcoin only thumbnail today because bitcoin is what it all banks on guys you know i could be coming out here with thousand x meme coin thumbnails every day to for the views but today you know i do want to just focus on what counts bitcoin is the precedent for everything else um today oh stacks back down at 334 breaking lower breaking lower it's okay not worried about it at all HC says, I have way too much car. I need to sell some. I feel that way too, except I'm not going to. Uh, because something about it. I think it's gonna get a, I think it's gonna get an exchange listing. Personally, I could be wrong. I could be getting hurt. And the truth is, is you know, I, I'm talking really publicly about these plays, and I saw your comment in the chat uh, recently on my last video, HC. Yeah, it was kind of a crazy, maybe bonehead move to be talking about my bags so much out loud. Um, but you know, uh, I want to support the ecosystem. And uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm holding on because I think there's something more going on with that. The $16 million market cap is extremely impressive. Um, but that naturally, there, there is sell-offs happening right now. And so people are, you know, just taking profit. Taking profit as you should be doing on the way up. I've been taking profit into other memes. Uh, it's kind of the game I've been playing. But the goal is to take profit into Crow. Just like you should be doing with your Shiba Inu, taking profit into whatever, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Solana, whatever you want, but take profit in the tried and true place and keep a moon bag, you know, if you want, or just don't dabble with these things at all, maybe. It's up to you. Bitcoin having a big dip. Ooh, look at it. There's a big long squeeze now. So the shorts got squeezed this morning. Now the longs are getting squeezed today. Bitcoin down a whopping 4.24%. So to everybody that voted in this live stream, and I asked, is Bitcoin gonna break new highs today? 72% of you guys said yes. Hope you guys weren't in any longs. Um, if you're rocking a short right now, you're printing money. So be careful. Leverage trading is a great tool, but it is very risky. If you guys want to leverage trade, it is for experienced traders. Um, you can download FEMAX. You can use our link down below. A great tool for leverage trading, for growing your portfolio. If you're conservative, if you're taking profits, if you're setting stop losses, whether you're long or short, and if you deposit money into Femex and you use our sign-up link down below, you get up to $4,100. So check it out. But again, that's kind of for experienced traders only. So just be careful, guys. Be careful. This is a big dip. Let's see what we got. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let's go to the four hour with the candles and see how significant this is. Oh, look. Not significant at all. When in doubt, zoom out, folks. De La, De La Crypto. Oh, I like that name. De La Crypto. 
uh, doubled their money with Kaw, sold and bought back in and gonna hold. I like that. The bears are coming into the vote saying Bitcoin is not gonna make new highs today. Why? Probably because the price is going down right now. Um, but nothing shocking, guys. Nothing shocking. This is just the natural volatility of Bitcoin and crypto. Could we get a huge dip? Certainly, guys. Absolutely, most certainly. Uh, Paradise Property Management and Realty wants me to talk a little bit about Crease. I can talk a little bit about Crease. Crease is a token that took the community by storm. I'm talking about the Kronos community. All right, we'll pull up the chart. Here we go. Give me a second. I'll pull up the chart on the memes, guys. I know you guys want to see them. We'll do it. We'll take a peek. Big warnings on these memes, guys. Uh, you know, a lot of people are like, well, why, you know, show me where to buy these things. Frankly, frankly, guys, if you do not know where to buy these things already, I, I you know, then maybe you shouldn't even be playing around with them. But it's all DeFi. Crypto.com DeFi app, guys. I don't want to uh, lead the lambs to slaughter, so to speak. And I see people in the comments worried about it. And I, I worry about that too. And that's the danger of talking about meme coins, you know. Um, right now, we are getting a pretty significant dip on this uh, particular meme, uh, Kaw, and on Kreese, uh, which I've been talking about on the channel. But it's gone up. Uh, it's definitely gone up. So these are natural dips. Obviously, Bitcoin's dipping today. Let's take a peek here. So here you go. Uh, I track these charts on Dex Tools. These are all high risk plays, guys. And here you go. Since the top, this thing's already down 30%. Uh, I rode the volatility through this dip, a 60% dip. So like that's the name of the game. And if you can't ride these waves, then meme coins are not for you. And sometimes these waves don't come back up, guys. And like that's that's the story. Okay, so Crow with Knife is definitely number one in this chain. Um, and here's Crease, which is also looking a little bit bearish right now. But, uh, you know, probably, I don't know, could find a level support, might not. So just be careful, guys. Uh, look, the reason I got into this is just because I saw the community rallying around it. And the community is still rallying around it, but as Bitcoin's cooling off, there's a little bit of fear. There's a little bit of fear. There's also natural profit taking, but... You know, the trading volume is still high on this. Uh, the liquidity is very good. It's locked liquidity. So I'm going to continue with my experiment, but you got to do your own research, guys, and, and you got to be careful. There's not a lot of news with these things. There's uh, This is a launch pad, so that's one of the reasons I got into that because it was a launch pad. But it's also a very, uh, again, risque meme where people are kind of, uh, the, the memes are weird. The memes are, memes are pretty weird, but they're, they're pretty funny. And if it's not your sense of humor, then, uh, you know, just maybe don't. Just maybe straight up don't. But Ka is dipping. Um, I saw some more big buyers coming in yesterday as well. Some big accounts. Uh, people are recognizing this Crow with Knife coin and seeing that it's got something. People are expecting an exchange listing. Uh, sure, maybe. It's probably less likely for Crease to get an exchange listing, but you never know. I don't know. Maybe maybe Chris Marsley and the Crypto.com team have a little sense of humor. Um, maybe the Crease team, if the Crease team is watching, maybe you need to you know, make your memes a little more PG-13, potentially. But I'm holding. Uh, I'm playing the game. It's a meme coin game. You should see some of the memes on Solana and some of these others that have absolutely ripped to the sky. You never know, guys. You never know. Uh, all right. Enough of the memes. Uh, you know, I mean, you, you don't know anything about the devs on any of these meme tokens, to be honest with you, Paris. This is what the danger of memes are, you know, and if you don't want them, then don't even touch them, you know. Um, but memes are gambling, you know, and you're you're trusting, uh, like, listen to the AMA. You're just a, a couple guys on the internet, really. But look at what happened with Whiff and with Bonk and with everything, you know. It's, uh, you never know what can happen. You never know what can happen. Why is Shiba Inu a... Uh, 19 billion dollar market cap they gave 50 percent of the supply to vitalik buterian ethereum that was a smart play maybe it was just that maybe it was something else um <laughs> hc is just prep pep talking himself in the chat it's awesome bitcoin actually coming right back up let's see what's going on wow a lot of volatility today you see this thing guys beautiful bounce right off wick through the previous high liquidate the longs see this is 
This is what we're talking about, guys. I'm gonna go back to, not this, not this. I'm gonna get out of that. What I wanna go back to is this. We were talking about it to just the beginning of this video. I said, here's the major level. This is exactly what I was talking about, guys. Look where all these green lines are. See these? These were just hunted, okay? These were all just wicked out. If you just saw the price action on Bitcoin, these were all just wicked out. So let's refresh this page and see if that changes at all. See, that is a stop loss hunt right there if I've ever seen one. Look at the giant wick. Came all the way down to get all these guys. Goes down to these green lines. That's what these green lines mean, guys. And so there might be more coming back up. I wouldn't be surprised if we shot back up to 71 today or even continued down because that was a pretty significant thing. But these are just whale games. These are just liquidations that are occurring. And they're going to keep happening until one side gets more exhausted than the other and just gets absolutely wrecked taken out down for the count and then all of a sudden we rip up or we rip down it can happen either way guys that is what happens in these markets friends look at this beautiful 15 minute candle recovery hopefully we can continue up i'd love to see bitcoin keep going up but we still got 40 minutes in this hourly candle so just you know be aware guys be careful honestly i i would if i was leverage trading and personally i'm not leverage trading right now um, and I, I've made a vow to not leverage trade in this bull market because frankly, I don't have good risk management with leverage trading and it takes some kind of fella to say that out loud to themselves, to a public audience. I don't have good risk management for leverage trading. I'm a better swing trader. I'm a better, uh, you know, chart watcher, swing trader. Um, you know, I, I don't want to leverage, especially around these levels, but you could make an argument that the support at 69K might be a good spot to long after a big wick like this. You know, I know people are coming in with the longs, but the risk is, as the longs come in, if the selling pressure continues, then we could get some more long squeezes and we could fall back down. But it looks like Bitcoin's just ripping back up right now. Let's see how it plays out. We can watch it for a bit. I'll do a little Q&A, guys. Let's do a little Q and A. 66% of you guys still believe we can get a new high today. 40% of you guys don't. Little split. Probably not going to get the new high today, but maybe we will. Maybe that's what it takes. Maybe it takes a 50-50 decision where it gets to a point where majority of people don't know what's going to happen next, and then we take off. That makes sense to me on a mental level. But we're guessing, you know? We're all just guessing over here. That's all we can really do. We, we understand that there's a halving coming up. We understand the institutions are buying. This is something that if you've been in crypto or you've been learning about crypto, we've been talking about this for years in the crypto space, that one day institutions are going to start adopting crypto and that's when we're gonna go really huge. And maybe that's the argument for the super cycle as well. Are we gonna get that super cycle? I hope so. It's looking pretty good. It could be possible. I saw MM Crypto come out with these targets. He said, one day Bitcoin is gonna go to $100,000, go to a million dollars and then $10 million. Do you believe a $10 million Bitcoin one day? I actually do. I actually do. I believe we could see a $10 million Bitcoin one day. I really do believe that. But it could take a long time. It could take a long time. Or maybe not. Maybe not. 10 million is going to be a stretch. I, we'll take a pause at a million. Maybe even at 100K. I don't know. I don't know. Some people were like, 100K is going to be impossible to get through. Sometimes we just break through those. Like 20K was a big mental level for Bitcoin. We just blasted through after we had that consolidation period uh, for 18 days. I'm, I'm talking about this. Boom, when here's your 2017 all time high. It only took 18 days from the time that Bitcoin wicked above it for it to actually blast through. And people thought that was gonna be a huge mental level. And it wasn't. In fact, a thousand dollar Bitcoin was a bigger mental level than it was for 20K Bitcoin. And so what's gonna happen with 100K Bitcoin or better yet, the current high? It's 69K Bitcoin, 69, unbelievable. It's ridiculous. That's rid isn't that ridiculous that, that Bitcoin stopped there, guys? Oh, I didn't know I wasn't sharing my screen. Sorry, folks. Oh, I am. Okay, good, good. All right, oh, we're back to 70K. Look at that, just like that. Spooking out the greedy longs and then getting right back to the mission at hand. This is unbelievable volatility today. Do you see this thing, guys? This is crazy.
lot of Kaw fans in the chat. But as for Crease, I will tell you, the devs apparently have something cooking, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, you know, every meme coin community says they always have something cooking, so you kind of got to wait to the announcements. And if you're in when the announcements happen, well, then you usually make some good money. So, but sometimes it's not worth waiting around either. So you got to use your own discretion, do your own research on that stuff, and, you know, be aware of the risk. The risk is zero. The risk is zero. The reward is... 5x, 10x, you know, that's meme coins, especially low cap memes. You never know. Let's see what's going on in Ethereum. We haven't looked at Ethereum in a while. I had a little wedge playing out over here that, that did play out. That was cool. So we had the big wedge. That's been playing out. Uh, the target for that is basically... still got ways to go basically the previous all-time high is how this wedge play out and i expect that to play out still uh we even had a smaller wedge in here for ethereum that we were tracking for a while and that played out as well down to the 50 minute candles here yeah i was kind of a weak wedge i'm gonna get rid of that it was there it's like a parallel wedge or something like that Anyway, Ethereum's looking good. Not as good as like Solana or any of those. I mean, yep, Solana's had more gains. And arguably, some of the smaller cap altcoins have more upside. Uh, arguably, but Ethereum's technically more secure, safe in terms of an asset, hypothetically, at least hypothetically, like Bitcoin. You know, you want less volatility, you want to secure your wealth a little bit more, Bitcoin. You want to take a little more risk, you go to Ethereum. You want to take a little more risk, you go to Solana. You want to take a little more risk, you go to some lower cap alts like Kronos. You want to take an insane amount of risk and possibly get rich, but possibly lose it all, you buy some memes. That's how it goes. Woo! WCB making moves in the chat. What else we got going on, folks? Do a little Q&A. How we feeling? How we feeling? It's quiet today. You guys are quiet today. Maybe it's early. Early for the fam. Let's see what's going on. I'll come in. I'll zoom in a little bit more. We'll just see what's happening here. Just playing the games. Frank Q says, still have my bag holding strong. I have a hard time seeing this chat sometimes. looking to go on Solana ecosystem destruction just announced that's pretty cool is anything happening with the price action I'll check it out that I mean they're looking to or they're actively working on it or they're gonna do it we'll see the power of the tweets yo it's real the power of the tweets is real Nothing crazy happening. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just looking on Twitter here. As we're watching this price action for Bitcoin, bopping our head to the beat. These are the kind of moves, though, sometimes where you just see, like, swoop. So, well, you never know. Let's see if we can find any kind of pattern going on. Yeah, so some people were looking at this as, like, a bull flag. Let's 
Let's see if we can find this bull flag that people were talking about today. Carl from the moon. Talking about a bull flag. Bull flag confirmed as of this wick. But then everybody gets wrecked, as typically happens in crypto. Some kind of bull flag. It's not perfect, that's for sure. It's certainly not perfect. Something like that. And so what he's saying is there's some kind of bull flag here. And we look at the flagpole. I think you look at the flagpole from the bottom, I believe. And let's, let's be conservative about it. 73K target. That would almost bring us back to the highs. Can we see that play out? I don't know. I don't know. I would love to. I'd love to, guys. I'm going to get rid of it. Because honestly, I don't love the shape of that bull flag. Let's see what happens as people get all excited about these. This is the danger of TA. Here's their danger of TA. If you see this bull flag and you're like, that's a bull flag and it breaks out and then you long it here, guess what happens? Schwack. They get you. And then they liquidated all. And who is they? The exchanges. It's the whales. It's the big bags. It's the leverage traders. They schwack you. You get schwacked. And I don't want you guys to get schwacked. I want you guys to go shishing. Cha ching. I want you guys to make money. This thing is flipping green. Bull flag confirmed. Maybe. Sometimes we do get these wicks up, down, and then we can go. We can clean out all the greed. And then whoosh, maybe we can go up. Maybe. Let's see it. I'm going to keep this bull flag. We'll just keep an eye on it just in case. Just in case, but we're going to zoom in. Not bad on the 15-minute candles, that's for sure. We do like to see the bounces off the previous all-time high. The more, you know, boom, I, the more we can really resist a closed candle below that, the better better possible diamond pattern in the making yeah we'll see hcs how long did it take corgi i to get listed you know that's a good question hc i don't know unfortunately i missed the craziness of corgi ai I caught it when it was already at like a $100 million market cap, and I caught some good 2Xs on that, stuff like that. But I was not around. Uh, I was around. I was doing YouTube videos. I was talking about Crow, but I just totally missed the Corgi AI thing. Really. I mean, people who made millions off Corgi AI. I did not. I didn't even come close. I was not in. But if Caw does anything like that, I will certainly make a good amount of money, but there's no reason for that to happen. You know, you guys got to be aware of that. It's not like there's always going to be the next Corgi AI. Could there be? Certainly. Uh, could it get listed? Certainly. Should it get listed? I don't I don't know. That's, that's up to crypto.com. But if it does, you're definitely looking at some big gains on that stuff. David Porciello says 3.5 months after DeFi listing is how long it took Caw to get listed. So we'll see. You know, maybe it does it faster. Maybe it does it slower. Maybe it never does it. It's 106 days. 106 days. That would be a summer call listing. What happens in the meantime? I don't know. What happens if they bridge over to Solana? I don't know. It's super risky, guys. Super duper crazy risky. Don't know. We're crashing. Just kidding. Don't worry about it. We got 41 viewers, 26 likes. If you do like the content, smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, do you guys like these morning streams or do we prefer the afternoon streams? Seems a little lighter today. Seems maybe everybody's tired. Maybe people are working right now, working hard out of the gates. Maybe they're looking to join a live stream and a lunch break more so. play around in these levels I, I think I don't I don't think we're just gonna like rip right through or anything today I'd love to see it but you know eventually if 
Bitcoin goes up, it will happen, you know, and Bitcoin should go up. That's the big hypothesis anyway. Bitcoin bull market, right? Super cycle, right? Institutions buying crypto. We just got to wait. It's patience. I have something uh, tagged to the top of my crypto page, uh, my Twitter page, and it is DCA and HODL. And I have that there for a reason, because that's the safest strategy, in my opinion. That's my personal opinion. I'll say it again, not financial advice. None of this is. That's my personal opinion, though. Oh my gosh. DeFi DJ Jack. <laughs> Thanks for the love. Can't say that out loud. Uh, like something to listen at work. Well, I'm glad you are enjoying a daily crypto. Look at this volatility this morning, guys. It's crazy, man. Super crazy. You are an industrial electrician aspiring trader. I love it. I love it. If you guys want to leverage trade carefully, you can do so. You can sign up for Femex, deposit some money, but just be careful, y'all. Because if you lose leverage trading, well, then you might have to keep your job for a lot longer than you might have anticipated. It can make you escape the system or it can keep you locked into the system if you lose. And I do not want anybody to lose. I want y'all to win. A little move back up. When Jim Cramer mentions Crow Cell, I bet you Jim Cramer never mentions Crow. Unless we hit like a dollar, maybe then he'll start talking about Crow, but like. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully he does talk about Crow. Because if, if Jim Cramer's talking about Crow, that means we're well past the dollar. I'll tell you that. <laughs> He's got a funny email. WCB JJ77. The news. Likes. Morning lives. I'm glad you like it. Listen as you work. That's good. We're hanging out, guys. Um, we're going to make some cold calls today. Going to do the thing. Yeah, Crypto G says yesterday I asked about BitDAO fusing with Mantle. Could be bullish. I ignored it. Go look at Mantle today. I saw it. you got 50% gains today, Crypto G. I'm not going to catch them all. I never said that I would. I can't. It's impossible. If we all caught them all, we'd all be millionaires. Hopefully, you're a millionaire now, Crypto G. Mantle, I know a lot of people love it. It's probably a great play. I know George is really, really bullish on Mantle. Uh, a lot of people are bullish on Mantle, and that's fantastic. There's so many great plays in crypto. Huge news, great news. Glad you're making money. Uh, to any newcomers, I, you know, I, I always warn against you know buying the big green candles. You buy when it's red, and you sell when it's green. But I want a lot of crypto exposure personally. I haven't sold anything to cash through a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. Uh, I'm not intending on doing that um, for a long time. Uh, we've got months and months and months of bull market. I think personally. So I'm going to continue to, to stride forward with that theory. And I'm going to buy the ones that I believe in, I hold. And there's a lot of great plays that I'm not going to catch. But there's a lot of great ones that I am catching. And I think probably the most obvious ecosystem to do is, you know, the Stacks ecosystem. So we'll talk a little bit about it real quick. So as the Stacks ecosystem or as Stacks coin is dipping, what you'll see, guys, is that the ecosystem isn't really pumping either. There's a couple tokens that are pumping, but mostly, if you look, we got mostly bleeders in this space today. 
most sleep leaders. Like Welsh today, a good dip. Like, if you guys have been looking at these and you have any interest in these degen plays on stacks, well, then these are the potential dips to buy. Could this thing come ripping back down to very low low? Yeah, it could. And that's the risk with all this, you could call it junk. Um, the first dog meme on, on Bitcoin, right? Um, these are all down today, but that doesn't surprise me because like Gus too, like same thing. Like Gus is down a little bit, but it is kind of curving out a little bit. You can see here. So that's not terrible. The consolidation right here makes sense. If we break lower, we break lower. These are the risk with the memes. But uh, I do believe that my theory is that uh, the Stacks ecosystem, and there's better plays than those junk memes, guys. You can call them junk memes. Uh, like, you know, Orange or like uh, Archidico or like some of these other plays. Alex Labs was my first true love, you know, and I still do love it. Uh, my first true love, we talked about a lot on this channel. I know a lot of people have probably been making a lot of money on Alex Labs, um, which is great. These will all pump, in my opinion, once Stacks truly goes to price discovery mode, but that ain't gonna happen until Bitcoin makes a break for it. We need Bitcoin to really make a break for it, go on a tear and consolidate consolidate a lot higher and then Stacks can rip. As Bitcoin's been consolidating around this level, right in this wedge or this bull flag, uh, you notice that, that Stacks did have a giant weekly green candle. Let me zoom out a little, I'll go to the four hourly candles. I'll fit the data to the screen. We did have an opportunity and we saw this thing break out to the highs, but Bitcoin needs to kind of continue clearing out. Upward, it's kind of what we need to see. Hopefully, if we can get a break back above this while we're live, then I think we take another stab going up. Let's see, I'll hang out for a little bit more. De La Crypto bought a little bag of balm two weeks ago. I don't know. I mean, how many how many more of these same large memes can there be on Solana? It's crazy how many memes there are on Solana. Maybe it's great, though. Maybe I missed the boat. You know what's crazy about balm? Crazy thing about balm that I saw. So I was looking at the Crypto.com app today, and when you go to download the Crypto.com app, if you just go look at it, they're literally, like, in the bull market last year, they said, buy Bitcoin, ETH, SHIB. It's like buy Bitcoin, ETH, and BOM right now, which is wild. And that kind of made me feel some kind of way about BOM. Like I'm, I'm, maybe I'm going to miss the boat on that. Um, but also it's a meme. You know, how many memes can a guy have? I got a huge, I'm in so many memes. It's kind of stupid, you know, and I got some criticism for it. And I, I respect that criticism. I respect that criticism. But also I have some beliefs and I'm going to see them through and my plays are my plays, your plays are your plays. You do your own research, you make your own chances. You make your own wins, you make your own losses, guys. That's how we do it. Um, BTC has a big CME gap in the four hour and a small one on the one hour. I guess we just filled the small gap now. Bull flag play out. I hope so. Crypto G, are you a leverage trader? SEC strikes again. What did the SEC do? I don't see any news about the SEC. Yesterday, Bitcoin saw 418 million in net inflows following five consecutive days of outflows last week. Bitcoin Magazine says we are so back. I hope so.
5.9 billion Hong Kong asset managers, value partners, and VSFG have applied for spot Bitcoin ETF. Bloomberg is reporting. This is good news. We got Tidal and Hashtex announcing their spot Bitcoin ETFs set to begin trading. That's great. Wild. They can make more real estate. They can find more gold. They can't make any more Bitcoin. And that is the story of Bitcoin, guys. That is the story of Bitcoin and crypto. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let's see, what do we got? Any other questions in the chat this morning? Judge ruled in favor of the SEC against Coinbase. The cryptocurrency exchange engaged in unregistered scales of securities could be by uh, could be heard by a jury at trial. Let's see what's going on. So they're going to go to trial now. The judge ruled against it. Let's see what's going on with this story. Thanks for that. Appreciate that news. This could cause some volatility, guys. This could cause some volatility. Let me share the screen. Uh, great, great catch there. Love this, uh, love this chat. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's get into the story a little bit. Breaking news. Coindesk, Coinbase losses, loses, Coinbase losses. Coinbase loses most of motion to dismiss losses. What a weird, how do you lose most of the motion? A judge ruled that the SEC made a plausible argument that Coinbase is operating as an unregistered broker, exchange, and clearinghouse. Okay. A federal judge ruled that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission brought enough of a case of arguing that Coinbase is operating as an unregistered broker in exchange clearinghouse and its suit against the cryptocurrency company should move forward. Judge Catherine Polk Filia of the U.S. District Court of oh, Southern District of New York on Wednesday ruled against most weird language most of the coinbase's motion to dismiss the sec lawsuits finding that the regulatory agency had a plausible case against the exchange she set an april 19th deadline for the parties to agree on a case scheduling plan they're gonna see a jury folks the sec sued coinbase last year last year this is how long these cases take to play out uh the same time uh the same week it sued fellow exchange binance alleging that it was violating several federal securities laws. The SEC is attacking crypto, guys. Gary Gensler is the anti-crypto master. Um, it also argued the Coinbase wallet has acted as unregistered security broker. Today, the court decided our SEC case will move forward on most of the claims, but dismissed the claims against Coinbase wallet. Coinbase wallet dismissed. That's good. We were prepared for this, and we look forward to uncovering more about the SEC's internal views and discussions on crypto regulation. So, the... Coinbase team still feels confident. Of course, they're going to say that. Of course, they're going to say that. Let's see what's going on with the Coinbase stock now. I bet you it's down. I bet you it's down. Maybe it's not. There you go. Boom. See that? Big old wick to the downside. Let's go to the advanced charts. Let's check it out. See, like, 
in a not bullish market, things like this could absolutely wreck crypto. I don't think that this has the power to wreck crypto. It has the power to make some volatility, but I don't think it has the power to like absolutely wreck crypto hodlers. I'm a little confused here because the Coinbase stock is not past its previous high. It's looking really good here on this chart, but this is not accurate. Anyway, there you go. Here it is. So this is kind of where we're at. Getting a little sell off right now. Nothing crazy. Actually, really resilient right now, to be honest with you. Let's see how that plays out overnight. Bitcoin's reacting a little bit, just coming back down, still playing around on the channel, no cause for alarm. Blessings to you, John. Appreciate it. Good to see you, Ron H. Financial Freedom says, Kip, you crazy for selling crow for memes. Love you, man, but that's an insane amount of crow to risk. You're right. You're not wrong, Financial Freedom. You're right. I agree. I agree with you. It's degenerate. I'm aware. You should not do what I do unless that's what your research has told you to do. I've got a hypothesis and I could absolutely get wrecked for it and I could be getting rid of 200,000 crow, but the truth is, is I've already made over 100,000 crow. So, it's playing out so far, but that doesn't mean that that's going to work entirely. I, would, I need to take profit. It doesn't work if you don't take profit. Um, but I'm still hanging in there. I've been shuffling some of the bags, you know, to like other low cap memes and playing those games. But honestly, I'm a little memed out. I'm going to kind of pick some of what I believe might be the winners. And that's my idea. But, uh, you know. Anthcrow says, I personally won't be locking my crow up for the 20% crypto uh, APY. Um, and then McLovin says, never lock in a bull market. I'm going to be talking about that later today. So I will be talking to you guys. I'll do a video on that specifically later today. Uh, McLovin says, I'm predicting a sell the news event on a having day. What do you think? McLovin, you know, uh, good to see you, brother. Um, anything's possible. Um, doesn't have to be doesn't have to be could be doesn't have to be i would challenge you and just say does it matter does it matter because if there's a sell the news event on having day well then my bonus comes like the following day or something like that that'll be a nice dip to buy so that i'd celebrate that uh celebrate a dip to buy in because i believe the whole year is going to be bullish so if it goes up well then hooray you've got crypto you're going to make some money if it goes down congratulations you have to buy the dip opportunity and then eventually bitcoin will go back up if you believe in the having and the four-year cycles and all that which most people do Ron H says, alt is gambling. That's why we're here. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. Padre says, whoever looks crow for 12 months will regret. Uh, locks crow. I think you mean locks crow for 12 months will regret it. Sometimes you're unable to withdraw before the end of the term. You're never able to withdraw before the end of the term. That's the whole idea of the lockup. So it is risky. That's for sure. We'll talk about it tonight. King Crypto Mercenary says, everything is impossible until it happens, Crypt. You're exactly right. Except, I, I don't like the word impossible. Nothing's real until it's real. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll say it that way together. You like that one? Agree? Agree to disagree? Look at this chat going wild. We got John316. Shout out to Carlos Figueroa. Shout out to Shy Sox fan. Shout out to John316. Shout out to Ronnie. Shout out to the Padre. King Crypto Mercenary locked up 10,000 crow, he says, but plan on holding 50,000 until... Yeah, it's kind of hedging your bet. Till a 500 billion market cap? You think crow's going to a 500 billion market cap? Dude, that's like a $10 crow, isn't it? 
That's like a $13 crow. That'd be great. <laughs> Thanks, John. D5 D Gen Jack says locked coins are the liquidity pool from ha ha. You get to watch. Padre says super weird what people are not rushing to CDC is the most compliant on like Binance KuCoin Coinbase. All in having issues with just. Uh yeah. I agree. I I mean I I think they are. You know, what we haven't seen in a while is exchanges releasing the amount of users that they have on the platform. I'm looking forward to giving you guys that update because I used to compare Binance to crypto.com and the amount of users, like the last update we got from Binance is like 140 or 160 million users and crypto.com at like 80 million. I want to see those updated numbers. iPhone. iPhone or Android, iPhone. What do you guys think? You let me know. Carlito Figueroa, thank you for all you do, being in the chat, participating on the channel, supporting the channel with a membership. If you want to become a member on the channel like Carlito Figueroa, who appreciates the content, who's here almost every single day watching the content. I think you're on every stream, Carlito. I see all the time. You can become a member on our channel and you get access to our private Discord. You also get access to the emojis that you see in the chat, um, like you, you see people do it. Um, thank you for your support. If you want to support the channel and become a member, you can do so. You don't have to, but you do get access to our private Discord. And that's a lot of fun. Y'all got to get in that Discord a little more with me. Get more of a conversation going. Joel King says, I'm definitely logging on my crow for the 20% 12 months. Uh, just, you know. Careful, Joel. Careful. We are still inflationary, says McLovin. True that. We got 51 viewers, 33 likes. Do me a favor, tap that like button. It is the number one thing you can do seriously to support the channel besides leaving comments and giving me feedback down below. I, I appreciate any feedback that we get on this channel and I do take it to heart as you saw me pouring out my soul yesterday. Pouring out my soul. Carlito is almost at every stream. Yeah, McLovin's talking about the burns for Crow, and let's just generally talk about burns for anything. Burns are not the end-all be-all, folks, and I, I, I firmly believe that. Burns are cool, but they're not the end-all be-all. Now, if you burn 50% of the supply of a token, that's certainly huge. Uh, but... You just got to be careful. We got a couple cars in the chat. Shout out to Mosmos. Going car. It's trying to turn around. Bitcoin back to not 70K. Oh, man. I'm tech ignant. Discord got me going in circles. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Uh, you should YouTube it, Mario. You can learn. You can learn, brother. But you can't join Discord, Mario, our private Discord, unless you're a member on the channel. So, And you don't you don't have to become a member. But if you want to support us and you want access to the Discord, if you can figure out how to use Discord, you know, members get that. So there you go. Anth Crow, I'll see you, brother. Peace out.
I'm not gone. I'm hanging out still. I'm going to go soon, though. Every like increases the crow bag. Well, Shy Sox fan, you're technically not wrong. You're technically, technically not wrong. I know it seems silly, but I know YouTubers matter. I don't know if we matter. I don't know if we matter. I'd like to matter. I don't know if we do. Um, because we're not doing financial advice or anything. But, uh, definitely spreading the word about Crow. Probably, probably helps Crow, right? I mean, we get like two to 3,000 views per Crow video, basically. So, that's not bad. We haven't gotten a normal video that's gotten over 10,000 views yet. So, we're, we're working on that. Working on that. Financial Freedom says, Burns it with Crow needs if we ever want to hit highs like 10 to $20. But, well, yeah, less supply would be good, but we need to like burn an insane amount. And I just don't know if they're going to do that. That'd be incredible if they did. They could help, but the burns would have to be significant. Like the amount that they're burning through this emissions thing with this whole change with the Kronos ecosystem and the validators and all that, it's not enough. But if all of a sudden like CDC burned all the crow, that'd be crazy. Um, they're probably not going to do that though. They're probably going to use it for rewards to continue to give us 20% APY and things like that on Chrome. Joel asked, Kip, what uh, time will you be doing the video about the Crow lockup? Because I really want to know. Do you think maybe it would be a bad idea? I will talk about it, Joel. And just please know, I'm not a financial advisor. You have to make your own decisions. Um... But maybe you do want to wait to watch the video. I'll be talking about it later in my video tonight. It'll be coming out in like 12 hours or something. So bear with me. Maybe 15 hours. It'll come out later tonight. And in that video, I'll tell you it's not financial advice. Because it's just got to be careful, guys. But I'll definitely give you my opinion. I'll give you my personal opinion. Blaze of music. What's the story behind your name? I think I got the first part. <laughs> Are you a musician? Oh my gosh, Anth. You're unbelievable. I can't do that. Nope. No thanks. That's not this kind of channel. We don't even cuss on this channel. Never cussed once on this channel. Almost did. On accident once. After your program, brother, good looking out. I do need better guidance in crypto. I hope we're helpful. But you gotta keep doing that research, brother. You gotta keep digging on your own. You're not going to, you know. You're not going to get your winning strategy from one YouTuber. As much as I'd love to be that guy, and I might be that guy, but again, just we're not. This, you got to pick your own strategy. Uh, you know, you got to diversify your thoughts. You have to diversify the exposure to the content that you're getting exposed to. So hopefully, we're part of that. But you know, you got to continue to do your own digging. I miss a lot of things. I catch a lot of things. I get hurt sometimes. And you see it all live. You see it publicly all the time. Blazer says, I do hip hop. I worked with some big names like uh, Bryson. I'm not a hip hop guy, so I don't know Bryson, but I believe you that it's big. Um, check it out. Is it your channel? Do I just click on your name and find your channel? Is that how that works? Crypto G says, Kip equals chicken in Dutch. I wish it meant crow. Yeah, Joel King said something interesting a second ago. He said, okay, I'll wait to see your video before I pull the trigger because I value your knowledge. And I appreciate that. Um, but, there, you know, you got to continue to kind of make your own decision so I, I appreciate that and that's what we're here for to give you some context and some ideas but if I say jump you shouldn't say how high you should say why right if I say jump you should say why I'm not I'm never trying to tell you guys to jump 
we've definitely talked about Crow a lot and I've talked about Stacks a lot and we've talked about Solana a lot. We've talked about Bitcoin and Ethereum and those have all played out very well. Crow the least so. These memes have done very well, but again, these things can come ripping down tomorrow. In fact, Crease is still way down from its highs. Maybe it recovers, maybe it doesn't. Cause trying to make its way back up, you know, but if I say jump, you say why. That's how that should go. And then you should research, you know, should I jump? You know what I'm saying? You should research it, but not just Google, not just YouTube, not just Twitter, all of them. And then talk to your neighbor and your uncle and your friend. Except I've learned that the people in my life are honestly the most, the least reliable people for information or suggestions. To be honest with you, no, no insult to anybody that I love in my life, but me and Black Sea were talking about crypto while people were going, it's a scam, it's a Ponzi, it's trash, it's unbelievable, you're degenerate, you know. We made a lot of money in crypto, so they were wrong. Um, and it's just, you know, the crazy thing about crypto is you're you're going against the grain. And I have a coworker, actually, shout out to him, uh, who I was skiing with, and uh, he's notorious at our company for, if everybody's zigging, he's zagging. He's zig and zag. Crypto, you're the zagger. If you're in crypto, you're zagging. So there's, there's something to that. So you kind of got to look at other zaggers and see why they're zagging and how they're doing it and ask why and what's the best move and you don't want to zag all the time that's for sure look at this consolidation all right guys Let's see what else we got uh do not get out of here with that get out of here with that boom no pre-sale shilling in my chat no pre-sale shilling in my chat you do that again, you're getting banned, brother. Musica para dormir, you're getting banned. If you do that again, do not shill a pre-sale in my chat. Do not do it. Defend my people. Whew. I want you guys making money. I want you guys making a lot of money. I would love to see that. Warren Jones says, really enjoy your streams. Learning a lot on navigating this crypto thing. That's good to see. Rax, 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 299, 299. You're the legend, dude. You gave us a $50 super chat yesterday. I'll never forget. Thank you for your support, brother. You're a member on the channel too. Look at that emoji. The beautiful crow fam emoji. He's a member. Are you in that private Discord with us, Rax? You in there with us? I think you are. I think I saw you in the private Discord. Shout out to you, brother. John 316, Blue Mountain Coffee. John, I still haven't gotten that coffee. I'm so sorry. I love you, but I still haven't gotten that coffee. Good to see you. What's up? Not Bitcoin. It was earlier. Just trying to do it again. We got 58 viewers, 37 likes. Do me a favor, guys. Crush the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy this content. <clears throat> all right guys that's a wrap that's all i'm gonna do today uh it was a beautiful stream i'm gonna go close some deals crushing deals we gotta rip some deals guys focus on your jobs make some real world money so you can invest in crypto not just crypto in real estate in stocks you can create generational wealth for yourself and it doesn't have to happen in crypto and if you're just all in on crypto all the time then you need to consider taking some profits on the way up because we do want some real world assets as well. Personally, I prefer real estate over the dollar because the dollar is getting inflated to heck. We saw a $20 wedge salad when I was in Utah. I should have taken a picture of it. I tweeted it out in retrospect. Darn it, really missed an opportunity there. I will be taking profit on the way up, but I haven't taken any profit into cash in this crypto space yet because I believe we have a parabolic bull run that has just kicked off. We've had a great move up so far. We are at the previous all-time highs. I think we will have a lot more gains to come. Whether you're making it in memes, whether you're making it in low cap gems, mid cap gems, or blue chip cryptos, profit on the way up is a beautiful thing, guys. I want you all to make money. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys tuning in. I'm gonna go crush some deals. Carlito Figueroa, I'll do it for you, brother. And for Mrs. Crypto Kip and my little baby on the way. Very excited, guys. That is all I got in this one. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you, HC. Shout out to Rack. Shout out to Crypto G. Shout out to Mosmo. Shout out to John316. 
Shout outs to Richard Rose, Blazing Music. Shout out to Joel King. Looking for that video later today. Come in. Shout out to Mario. Shout out to John316. I think I said you three times, John316. Shout out to Anthro. Shout out to Elwood. Shout out to McLovin. Uh, shout out to who else we got here? What other legends? DeFi Jack Jen. Shout out to Ron H. Shout out to Padre. Shout out to all you guys. Shy Sox fan, if you're still with me. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you for all your support. Let's keep getting some upward momentum, hopefully, in these prices, guys. Uh, I'm going to end this poll, by the way. And officially, I will tell you guys that. Are, is Bitcoin going to make new highs today? 64% of you say yes, 35% of you no. I like it's a kind of closer to a 50-50 split. Maybe we get the bullish move on that. Smash that like button if you haven't done so already before you exit the stream. I'm out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Great video later today coming out on 20% APY that Crypto.com announced. I want to share with you guys the details, my thoughts, my insights onto that, my plan. Am I going to do it? Am I not going to do it? I'll let you know later today. That's all I got on this one, guys. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time, folks. Peace.